If you ever spent hours creating a character, sculpting, modeling, retopo, rigging, weight painting, creating face shape keys and so on, and you thought there has to be an easier way, then I think you'll like what I've got to show. I've heard a lot about Character Creator from some of the most productive CG artists I know. They absolutely swear by it. So I finally decided to dive in and explore the new Character Creator 5. And as a longtime Blender user, I was surprised how much time it can save me. Blender gives us incredible freedom, but when you have to create multiple human characters, especially as a solo creator or as a small team, all the modeling, texturing and rigging quickly turns into a mountain of work. Character Creator addresses exactly these pain points by giving you a full production-ready human base that you can customize as much as you want. You can achieve any style from realistic to cartoony, and even bespoke characters sculpted by hand. So what is Character Creator 5? It is the latest version of a standalone application from Reillusion that specializes in one thing – high-quality humanoid characters. It gives you a fully customizable human mesh and textures. Clothes that adapt to the custom character's shape automatic body and face rig, and easy export pipelines not just to Blender but to almost any popular 3D software like Unreal, Unity, ZBrush and many others. Now let's see how you can generate characters in CC5. There are a couple of different approaches. If you just need a really good looking character and you don't care about customization, there are a couple of pre-configured characters that you can just drag and drop. And then you can use them as they are or keep customizing them with the techniques that I'm going to show next. Another way is to start from a neutral base. You can choose between male and female, realistic or cartoony. From here you can enable morphs and start clicking on parts of the character to tweak it. If you go into the morph sliders, you'll get an almost crazy amount of customization options. For example, you can actually tweak the shape of each individual tooth. Having all of these options may seem complex until you understand that each of them uses the same character underneath, the same topology, the same rig, and the same material and facial animation system. It's just a question of what you want to start with. Now, after playing around with the different options, here is my favorite workflow, which I haven't shown so far. The Actor Mixer. It allows me to create appealing characters every time. Here I'm going to start from scratch and create a new base male. This will give me the base textured character as a start. Now I can click Start Mixing and just drag this dot towards some of the other characters and my character will get closer to their shape. So essentially, I can mix between three characters at a time, the base one and the two in the section the dot is currently in. So I can just play around and find the shape that I like. If I don't like my options, I can stop mixing and then replace some of the characters that I'll be mixing and then mix again. You can then focus on the head and in the same way, tweak its overall shape and then focus on individual parts like the eyes, nose, mouth and even ears. Let's say I'm happy with this, I'll finalize it and then focus on textures. You can choose between a number of base skins. But that is just a starting point. You can then go into the texture layering utility and activate it. And start layering effects like additional wrinkles. Different skin details and imperfections. Tattoos and scars. Facial hair. And that was just the head, you can also detail the body in the same way. And if your texture is looking good, but you just want to tweak the color slightly, you can go to the texture tab and tweak the color in various ways. We also have the option to apply makeup. Hair can make a huge difference in the appearance of the character. You can also layer different hair parts. And finally, you want to give your character clothing which also works with the usual drag-and-drop functionality. 
adding shoes changes the height of your character. So if you use high heels, for example, the height will change accordingly. And what is cool is we can keep tweaking the character at this state. And the applied clothing will react to uh, changes. Now I'm going to delete the shirt for a second to show you something that is worth seeing. And that is the HD morphs. In CC5, the characters can be subdivided. So using the highest subdivision of two, you can go to your morphs and find the ones labeled HD. And these are predefined details, which can make your character close to a professionally sculpted character. They are great for adding muscle details, and they aren't just normal maps. They actually displace the geometry and change the silhouette. They can also be used to simulate aging. Now let's get into exporting this character into Blender. That used to be possible and fairly easy even in older versions of Character Creator, but now on the plugins, we have a Blender Pipeline plugin. Now I'll just click Export Character to Blender. Export. Start Blender. And in Blender, I have installed the official and free Character Creator Pipeline add-on. In the Pipeline tab, I can go to Import Character and import the FBX. And I'll get the character exactly as I designed it. This add-on has a ton of features. I don't know them all myself, but for example, you can tweak the parameters of your materials. For example, you can add an overlay color over the skin, change the roughness, and so on. And for animation, I can generate a rigify rig with just one click. Now, this will actually take a while, and at first I wasn't sure why, but when it's done, you'll see why. Oops, no, sorry, that was the standard Rigify rig, and having it is definitely nice, because the advanced phase is really complex, and it may be just way too complex for some projects. But let me undo and show you the advanced phase. So this is what I was ranting about. This is the most complex face rig I've ever seen inside Blender. And if you've seen MetaHumans and this reminds you of the MetaHuman Meta rig, that is because the CC characters are compatible with MetaHumans, which is a whole other topic. I don't have experience with it yet, so I won't touch it, but you can find information about it from other channels focused on Unreal. So these are some of the core workflows with CC5. There is a lot more you can do with the software, and fortunately there is a big community who loves to share their workflows. Also, Reillusion makes their own tutorials. So if you need to do something with Character Creator, you will usually find a way to do it. I think we saw plenty of cool stuff we can do with CC5. Now let's talk about the limitations. This is a highly specialized software, so it might be challenging to create your full production inside CC5. But that is what we have Blender and Unreal for. Similarly, Character Creator is focused on humanoids. As long as your character has two arms and two legs, you can easily customize it to your liking. But non-standard and non-humanoid characters are outside of the scope of the program. And of course, this is paid software. In fact, it consists of multiple modules which you may have to buy separately, and the cost can add up. For many Blender hobbyists, this can be a deal breaker. On the other hand, busy professionals may instantly see the value of the software in the time it will save them. So my advice is to only buy it if you can see the value. There is a trial version to help you make your decision. Character Creator 5 isn't here to replace Blender. It is an extension to help you speed up your character workflow and let you focus on the storytelling and the bigger picture of your production. I'm still new to it, so if you've tried CC5, I'd love to hear your experience, especially how you integrate it with other applications like Blender and Unreal.